Ghana is my home. Ghana is my home. Ga Ghana is my home. Sixth of March, nineteen fifty-seven. Ghana, Independence Day. Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana baby right here in the motherland. I'm just so excited when I found myself in Ghana. But where I am right now, I just don't want to be excited. Uh, because I feel like it's the place that, that when you come, you just have to take some time and then reflect whatever happened in here. Yes. Your name is? Tanisha. And um, you say your, your name is The Girl With Vision? The Girl With Vision. That's your Instagram handle? Instagram. Why do you call yourself The Girl With Vision? I don't know because I feel like, you know, I've been having a lot of visions and I feel like I live through my vision. So whatever I see, that's what I put out. You told me that it's your first time of living in America and it's your first time in the country. And the first country is Ghana. Ghana. And this is the door of no return. They, and after they and call this place the door of no return. Yeah. Which means that a lot of our ancestors mm -hmm. were taken right up from this place and they never returned. Mm -hmm. So we, being the grandchildren, it's time for us to revisit Mother Africa. Trust me, I'm going to go out here. They said, no, no return. But trust me. It's time for us to return. Return. It's exciting. So, it's exciting. Yes. Yes. It's good. I'm home, it's you guys. You're home. Yes. And you feel like you're home, right? I do feel like I'm home. And make our nation great and strong. Bold to defend for Freedom and of pride. And help us to raise this oppressor's rule with all our will and might forevermore. Something has come over me, like I don't. No, you know what? Hold on. What? Hold on. What? When you were in America, yes. What do you used to think about Africa before coming? Honestly, I did not believe that Africa looked like this. What, 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 no, what are you saying? I'm saying, like, be honest. Do not hate me for saying this, but I've seen nothing but like huts and like poverty. I didn't even know Africa looked like a city. I didn't know that the things that we even see in America, I see here too. I see here, they've never shown us this on television. They've never, all they show us is feed the, feed the children. So you, you wanted to come to Ghana to feed me? <laughs> yes, I did. I wanted to come feed you. See, you right? know. <laughs> I've been eating everything and you still got to feed me. So oh, Jola. Yeah, but that's what they yeah, showed so us. And honestly, I mean, I feel like coming is where you gain your own experience. Like, if I had not come, I would have never known. I would have never seen this beautiful place. I would have even known that there is so many beautiful people here with so much love in their heart. Like, it humbles you. It really humbles me. I am so honored to even be here. I I feel like, like I said, I feel like I'm home. I don't want to go back to America. I don't. I don't. You know, I, I will get you an apartment. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs>
You can't live luxury in Africa. My brother, my sister. Did you plan going to any country apart from Ghana? Yes, I'm actually going to Senegal. Oh, Wednesday. wow. Yes. This Wednesday? This Wednesday. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do in Senegal? So, I'm traveling with my cousin, where is Neva. Okay. You know, um, she's the one who's gotten me outside of my comfort zone okay. to actually do this travel. You know, wow. as a first time traveler, she has been to a few places in Africa that I have always wanted to go to. Um, so, Senegal was actually one of the places talked about going to but we didn't even know for sure that we were gonna go we just met another American girl and we all decided to go on wow. this journey together That's beautiful. Yes. so when you go to Senegal I recommend you go to Gori Island okay it's a beautiful place and uh, yeah go learn the history there yeah. definitely it's the history just like what happened in Cape Coast yeah so, um, I just don't want to tell you but you want to get there you know what I'm talking about okay um been in Ghana for two weeks Three. Three? I'm sorry. No, so it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one more thing. The people. You guys are so amazing. Like, I love the people here. Like, I know that everywhere you go, you have your good and bad. Wow. But I believe that the people here will make you just, like, love, love them so much more. And just love people in general. Because the love here it's beyond any love I can ever experience. Like, the love that I get back home is not even close to the love that I've received here. Have you tried our food? Oh my God, have I? I made so much rice. <laughs> <laughs> I made so much jollof. I've had fufu. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, I've had, ben is it called ben Bencoon? Bencoon. Um, I've had plantain. Yes, I've I've tried the food. I feel like you can't come to Ghana and not try the food. Like <laughs> you know what, you've eaten our food. You've met friendly people. Yes. What are you gonna tell your fellow brothers and sisters out there who are scared of going to the continent, who are spending their money going to Europe, Asia, instead of choosing a country in the continent to visit? Is there any message you have for anyone like that out there? Yes, come home. The reason why I said come home is because they don't want us to come. First of all. I know that it is expensive, but there is ways to travel where you can actually come and see this land. I would suggest if you are gonna come, then maybe look at like places to go, like maybe go to Europe for a day or two and then come from Europe to Africa. Cause it's way cheaper to travel that way mm. than trying to come to the continent just, you know, all the way, directly. Yeah. It's just way, way, way more expensive. Like to travel from America to here is almost over a thousand USD to get here. So they're keeping it that that price for a reason. But like I said, I feel like the only way you will know about the history of this land is to come see for yourself. The only way you're gonna step outside your comfort zone and become more comfortable within yourself is to come see your land, your homeland. We are not Americans. We are Africans. They attach the ending American, African American to the end of our name, but we're really Africans inside. We are real Africans. So come home and see for yourself. Don't just let me and Wode tell you, but just come, come see for yourself. And you, I'm telling you, it will humble you. It will really humble you. I have, I've, I've received nothing but just like I, can, I said love love and I know that that's the word I'm using but that is what we need to even unify our people we need love it's all about love and I was saying that love your brother love your sister yes that's one I, I love, love you sis. I love you